what you see. When you see something move, your brain is taking pictures. Isn't what he sees. One part of your brain, it smooths out the picture frames. When that part of my brain was injured, it makes it so that I see the picture frames. And that's how Jason Padgett's seen the world for nearly 20 years. In 2002, I was attacked in a robbery and uh, had a, a brain injury and a concussion. The first time I noticed anything was actually when I was coming home from the hospital. The next day, when I watched water go down the drain and the smoothness was gone, instead of it just flowing smoothly like it used to, it looked like little tiny straight, like little tangent lines, uh, slowly spiraling down. Everything has a slightly pixelated look. It was fascinating. It was also very scary. After being assaulted, um, he had a perceptual change, started seeing things differently. So algebra is just like a piece of graph paper. And uh, has a particular type of synesthesia where um, he sees lines. And for him, that translated into a, a greater understanding of mathematics. In fact, it would make Jason something of a math genius, eventually drawing out the equations and mathematical patterns he was seeing in his head. They put me in uh, these things called functional MRIs, and they found that I had conscious access to areas that we normally don't have conscious access to. I was diagnosed so it was savant syndrome or acquired savantism. They're syndrome, so it's not a diagnosis per se. Dr. Matt Dahl works at a research clinic in Wisconsin that's treated Jason for what they call sudden genius syndrome. Um, we probably currently have uh, a little over 100 people uh, that have reported these things. It's kind of mind-blowing. It is. When this happened, I didn't have a traditional uh, math background. In fact, I, I didn't even finish algebra in high school. But after going back to school, now Jason says he sees math in just about everything, from the clouds in the sky to the roads that we drive, every shape, every circle, part of an equation we can all learn from. Math is literally everything. We are math, uh, the universe is, everything that we experience is. What an experience it's been giving TED Talks, news interviews around the world. Now he even has a book. If you could see the world through my eyes, you would know how perfect it is. But it hasn't all been perfect, like any life story full of pluses and minuses. Like many of our savants also had you know, this downside. He describes a significant amount of uh, anxiety and OCD symptoms. This has caused me to be a germaphobe. It made risks become much more obvious. What's funny is in the long run, it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. I would not have my children. I wouldn't have my wife. I wouldn't have the book. I wouldn't have a movie. I wouldn't have my family. And I wouldn't have this new love for life and this fascination just with everything. Dan Spieler, News Nation, Indianapolis. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.